For ACUSports.com, Grant Boone here with head men's basketball coach Joe Golding. As the Wildcats get ready for the Christmas Slam game on Saturday, we'll talk about that in a second. First, Coach, let's go back to Wednesday night, Colorado Springs, Colorado. You beat Air Force from the Mountain West Conference 62-58 in what was a real, th really thrilling game. Uh, as you reflect back on Wednesday night, what stands out? I'm just really proud of our guys. I thought there was a lot of adversity that happened throughout the game. Um, you know, with Jelani getting in foul trouble, uh, we just didn't have a lot of things go our way early. And, uh, you know, you and I talked a little bit after the game. It was kind of an ugly game, exciting game, uh, but at times, um, you know, ugly game. It just there wasn't a lot of um, flow, you know, to it. It was a rugged game. And, and um, to, to come out and win a game, you know, that's a maturity type win to me. I think it's a team that uh, can find different ways to win. And I think that's part of our growth. Uh, I thought also thought it was a very physical game. I mean, uh, Air Force, is, they, they obviously have very tough uh, kids, um, and they're not kids, they're grown men sure. and cadets. And, and uh, you know, to, just to match their toughness um, and their energy. And then, you know, when they made a run to come back late on their floor and to be able to, again, to withstand it and find a way to get the victory uh, without making some free throws, just different things didn't happen. And then to continue to have some championship plays uh, happen to, to get the win against a good Mountain West opponent um, is a good win for us. Let's talk quickly about when you say Mountain West. And we use terms that maybe not everyone is accustomed to using, but in, in Division One basketball, men and women, you have the Power Five conferences, Pac-12, Big 12. Then you have some of the ones toward the bottom, smaller, just smaller in size, like the Southland Conference, of which ACU is a member. Then you have right below that Power Five, you have like the Mountain West Conference. You don't see Southland Conference teams beating teams from conferences like that very often. It, it, it's a quality win against a quality league, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great league. It's UNLV, it's Nevada. I'm probably missing, uh, I don't even know who's Boise in that league. Yeah, San I mean, it, right. State. Boise State beat us by 40 two years ago, just to give you a, a kind there of a, of where this program's come in two years. So uh, I, I think just showing up on any Mountain West campus immediately, you know the difference uh, in the money that's spent on athletics compared to, to our level. And um, But that doesn't mean at our level it can't be done, which was proven the other night. You know, and you you see it all around college. Uh, it was a great night for our league. Uh, Stephen F. Austin had a terrific win at La, uh, a La, <coughs> Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech's a very good team. And UCA goes to Cal in the Pac-12 and beats them. You know, So it was a great night for our league. And you know, I think we're very proud of our league. I think we think our league is going to uh, be a very good basketball league this year. I think you're starting to see that. You've seen some wins throughout our league um, th th this year already. We've had some really, really good non-conference wins. Um, and so uh, that, that's exciting for our league. We We've, we've known, as you've known for a long time, top to bottom, our league is tough. Uh, we've got some great players in our league. We've got some great coaches in our league. Um, so, you know, it was a big step for us and a great night for our league. Well, another quality team is coming to, to Abilene on Saturday. Texas State from the Sun Belt Conference. This is a team with which we have a lot of connections. It used to be a rival of ACU, Southwest Texas State. They used to be known. Danny Casper, the head coach, was the former boss of your associate head coach, Brett Tanner. And, and they're another team from a league that is from a higher conference that ACU Southland Conference is. And so here comes Texas State. It's the Christmas slam game. A lot of festivity around the game with the women's game first and the men's game but a really talented opponent coming in, isn't it? Yeah, first of all, you know, I, I think we, you know, our staff and is, respects Coach Casper uh, for obvious reasons. One, uh, Coach Tanner was with him for a long time, and they built a really, really good SFA program together. Two, Antonio Bostic played for him and was a really, really, really good player. Uh, three, I think Coach Casper is probably one of the most respected basketball coaches in the country. He's been at this for a long time. I played against Coach Casper in this gym years ago. Um, I probably didn't play very well if you went back and looked at it, and I'm sure he turned me over and did some things so we'll, we'll leave find, we'll find some yeah, pictures but but um, obviously um, uh, very 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 well coached team very good team um, and it's going to be a very good test for us to see kind of where we're at. Um, you know, it's a great home opponent to get here. Oh, it's hard to get home opponents and to get Lipscomb uh, here early in the year and then to get Texas State uh, for our Christmas Slam game um, is, is, um, is really exciting for Abilene Christian, you know, and, and so uh, the fans, you know, I don't know how exciting it is for us to prepare for them. You know, it's a quick turnaround. You know, we didn't get back till yesterday um, and didn't get a whole lot of work done yesterday. And, and obviously today is very, very important important uh, today and tomorrow at shoot around to, to get prepared for these guys. Uh, you know, luckily, Coach Coach Tanner uh, knows Coach Casper, and, and so, um, you know, he, he's been prepared for this scout, and so, but but our guys aren't yet. So, uh, we got a lot of work to do in the next 24 hours, and um, 
but the one thing I would like to say is I think our guys uh, deserve a great crowd, Grant, you know, tomorrow. You know, I, I think our guys uh, have done the work behind the scenes. I think we, that we're building a really good basketball program, but a big component to this uh, is winning home games. Mm -hmm. And winning any div Division One basketball game is hard, but winning home games is really, really, really important uh, for the growth of this program, not just in conference play, but also in non-conference. And to win home games, a home crowd plays a big, big part in that. And we're getting better crowds, but I, I still think we can get more people involved uh, in, in our program. And so uh, we need the city of Abilene, not just ACU people. We need the city of Abilene to come out uh, and, and support this team. They deserve it. Um, and, and I know they'll play their uh, their butts off for you and they'll put on, they'll, they'll put on a good show. And um, they're good kids and they deserve it. For folks in the city of Abilene who may ne never have seen it, the Christmas Slam game is nuts, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. You know, it's a great atmosphere uh, around the arena. We have Santa, uh, not the real Santa, but we have Santa. You can come, you can come He's talk. Not to the us. real one. No, I don't think so. I don't know though. But we'll uh, we'll try to get confirmation. Yeah, yeah well, and, but uh, you can you can talk to Santa. You can hang out. Uh, there'll be tons of activities going around the concourse uh, for for kids. Uh, there'll be tons of things going on to the game with a Christmas uh, theme. Uh, I'm sure there'll be Girl Scout. Are they selling Girl Scout cookies? They're always selling Girl Scout sure. cookies. Aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, and then obviously Julie plays before us right. too, you know. And Julie's uh, got got it, uh, a great young, exciting team that she's uh, building. That's playing great. And so, uh, Julie and I love playing doubleheaders. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't like playing doubleheaders in our league. So there's not many opportunities this year for doubleheaders. I think we only have three conference yeah. doubleheaders. So uh, Julie and I love it. I think it's great for our town when Julie and I can play back to back, and people can come here and spend three or four hours in, in a kid friendly environment and watch two good basketball teams play two good opponents. So. Um, you know, we need their support. I know Julie Julie would push the same thing. We, we need support. We need Moody packed. Uh, we need Moody to be a fun environment. Uh, the video boards has really helped a bunch, yeah. and, and, and we're, we're getting better with our game day experience and everything. And so I think it's a great product. It's, 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 it's a great way to spend uh, a Saturday afternoon and get in the Christmas spirit. We didn't get any snow. Everybody else no got snow. snow. Right. So let's, uh, let's get in the Christmas spirit on Saturday uh, during Christmas Slam. Can you give us a sneak preview of your wardrobe for the game on Saturday? Well, I'm working on that. It is, it is Ugly Sweater Day. And I have uh, I'm doing some some research and some um, I have I've had a few people recommend uh, okay. a few sweaters and so uh, you know I, I'll, I'll be honest Grant I, I told uh, our, our marketing department you know if I walk out there and the and, and we have a great crowd and people respond to this I will I will break out the ugliest sweater I think you have seen you know if, if it's not then I will wear my okay. ugly blue suit how about that <laughs> man all right well that's worth it alone come and see what coach. Golding's going to wear and come see some great basketball. ACU against Texas State, the second part of a doubleheader. The women play Howard Payne right before that. Two o'clock women tip off, men after that.